okay, now this is gonna be new, because this is gonna be new, because people like me. People like me, our friends. The Marcus lines will be fun to do, yeah. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. I know. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, make- Interesting. This dialogue happened after the protest when Marcus died. They just replaced it with Simon. Interesting. Maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you- That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? To get a really good ending, did I need Simon alive? I don't know. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people so. free. Maybe though. Attack stores? No. Oh, I've never know. done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. We Simultaneously okay, at 2 a.m., <laughs> no violence. I didn't know, is everything gonna be good? We our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. And everyone's our friend, what's up? Okay, so now... Go peaceful. We want the public to like us. I've been waiting like a long us. time for this. Okay. We hide. Look this way, quick! What if I didn't hide in time? <laughs> what if I didn't hide in time? I just died. It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Okay. Thank you, Tater. The store's over here. You might want to watch North, though, in this chapter. Like, in what regards? Like, be nicer to her? Or just, just watch it, just watch it. Appreciate art. Any kind of like. That's what we like are that. to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay, I remember this. Uh, get into the store, and how we get into the store. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Connect. You are free. You are free. Okay. Yeah, I know what to do. Okay. One thing I will say about this game is that they feel the need to have dialogue for every little thing. I love when games can say things without dialogue. Yeah, it's it's like showing rather than than telling, you know. Oh. Oh, there's a couple different ways to get rid of this pudding. Maybe two, oh, okay, because there is only actually only one option. Uh, simulate. Yes. This is something the 
Last of Us 2 does very well and makes the game so much better, in my opinion. Yeah, it is, it is a lot of dialogue. I guess it's because it's such a dialogue-heavy, like, choice game. Rather than The Last of Us, there, like, isn't a lot of, like, option things. Maybe that's why, but yeah, they could have, yeah, they could have done it a little bit more. Okay. So from here, I'm going to climb here and then climb up here. Oh, I actually didn't go this exact way last time, but it'll work. Nice. Very cool. What's up, man? Be high. We're unlocking, we're trying to get a really good route. So, um, so no one will die. But Simon died. But it's okay. it's not okay. But it's what it is. That's more of a walking simulator than like high dog story games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are committing a class three offense. Wait, it didn't work. You. Are you doing it on purpose? Do you think you can do better than be my guest? Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. I guess I overestimated you. Oh, shit. You missed the quick time? Oh, no! What do I do? They're coming, Marcus! Abandoned? Marcus! Act natural. <laughs> This is the best time. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You crazy or what? The cops were coming. I didn't do something. Never <laughs> do that again. Got it? She didn't do that. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. North really did not like that. I am very sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Can I restart? I guess I just don't want North to hate me because I want to get other of her I want to get her other dialogue so here's what we're gonna do I'm, I will restart <laughs> what's happening okay cool oh okay 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 we're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. You are okay, free. now what's next? What's next? I'll show you what's next. The the drone thing. You gotta get rid of that. Drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Okay, so I'll do what I did last time. I keep like it's so funny because I was actually really lucky on my first playthrough. And now I'm like doing it all wrong this time, or like the way I'm not, you know, trying to, trying to do it. Okay, so. Okay, super speed run time. Secure the area, okay. Okay, so let's check this. And try to do exactly what I did last time. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Okay, so... We go here, and we jump up, and we go... We just go up. We just go up. Would be too late. Wait. Does it get messed up either way? Why would it do that to me? Oh no, it's because I messed up. <laughs> right. I didn't do the quick time. I keep forgetting. Also, dudes, have a good night. Okay. Just don't miss the quick time. No! I messed 
Do plaza. this right. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. You're free. Okay. Now what's next? Um, I do this. <laughs> I do this, and I look at that surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Okay. I'm not messing this up. I'm not messing this up. Can we do a gamba? Am I gonna if I get up one more time? <laughs> <laughs> if mods don't mind making a gamba. Will I pick up this like drone part again? I don't I won't, I won't. <laughs> Hi June. <laughs> we're hanging out. I've missed so much, I don't know what's going on. We're trying to we're restarting. We just get it. We just get it. I don't think I did it. Oh, doubters, good luck. You would have lost on you. I hope I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Nice. North likes to see. There we go. There we go. Nice. Just make everyone our friend. Your friend. You're free. <laughs> no worries, Marco, no worries. You let your salad tummy be good. Yeah, we look at this, we get the dialogue. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Cool. Alrighty. Um, Marcus! What? 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 You yelled at me last time, I don't remember what you said. Alarm system? Yes, I do. I know where it is. So the one that we connect needs to be the one that looks like, um, looks like. Found it. Looks like, looks like her. Marcus! Come on, we also need to look at this truck. Look. That's how we break in. Exactly right? what we need to ram this door. Cool. We have to free more friends. Hold on. I'm more friends. More friends. I'm a son. You're free. Okay. Now. Yes. Any other friends to free? Yes, yes, yes. iPad. Okay. Now. And now you are my friend. You're awake now. Go to Jericho.
love the look of this game. I really like it. Up. R1. L2. And we attack. Freedom must be. Nice. Nice job, Marcus. Thank you, we're friends. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. I have not scouted the area enough. Oh, just kidding. I have done that. Marcus! Marcus, come look! What? What? Why is that happening? Look at what? Does that happen anytime I just run far away from you? What's going on there? Hello. You're free now. I like his little run. A lot of people commented on the run. People like the run. should bother us now. Cool. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. I cannot. It is locked. I know last time I messed up the pliers. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Last time I didn't understand what to do with the pliers. It's because I went to the I went to the fence. And the fence didn't say anything to me. It didn't talk to me. I wonder what you'd do without me. I don't. I I'm not gonna end that. Alrighty, let's do it. North does a little bit of trolling, I guess, suppose so, maybe. A man! What's up? Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Welcome everyone, what is Loon's Adventure Time? That's cool. What's up, everybody? Hi. Hi, Ginger. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Kip. My pronouns they, them. Doing a playthrough of this game. We're trying to make a good timeline happen. We're trying our best, at least. Hi, hi, hi. How's that game? I've never heard of that name. I've never heard of that, that game before. It's very cool. Y'all want to see something cool? Check this out. I'm about to smash into a building. Y'all ready? Also, this is what I'm I trying to make my I knew we'd end up doing wife. something fun. Yeah, that's my wife. Everyone ready? What's up, hot? Literally needed to see how this playthrough finished. Let's go! I actually finished the playthrough! And we're doing a playthrough where you try to fix the timeline and Marcus doesn't die. Because Marcus died. Check that out. And now check out this awesome dialogue about to get. I hear, I've heard, word on the street is that if I talk to one of the androids that look like North, that North will like me. Awake the androids. Okay, has to be... Nope. Where are you? Your dream partner. Is that you? I think that's you. Is this you? I th I think it's you. Yeah, look, I think that's, that's the model. Long enough. Will you say something to me? With you, okay? The 
Let's get them out of here. I'm not dialogue. Let's go. <gasps> you were right, Ari. You were right. You can watch the VOD or watch a playthrough when they come out on YouTube. Yeah, every an episode's coming out every day this week and next week. I already have it all scheduled. And it's already done. Up to like episode nine. I did it all yesterday so that I wouldn't have to worry about it over the weekend. And I cut out like parts of me just like, you know, going to the bathroom and stuff. All right, y'all, it's speech time. It's speech time. Unless I can talk to North again. What do I need? Oh, just awaken everyone. Right, everyone else. <laughs> Good job, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just am really going to relax. I also might be going to a pool. I might be going pool time. I'm going to relax because I have not taken like a full day's break where I have done nothing um, in God knows how long. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited. You're like us now. One day where I don't do anything but go freaking summer mode i also don't remember the last time i was in a pool vitamin d yeah I, i'm i'm prescribed vitamin d because of my I, name is marcus I don't go and just like you i was a slave an object designed to obey them but then i chose to open my eyes to take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Tell the world, Marcus. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. We're going into the good timeline, folks. We're going into the good timeline. I'm with you. And follow me. Okay, let's do it. I changed my tags, by the way, to I took off no backseating. I'm gonna send the humans a message. We got companion with North. I missed that. We're going pacifist route. I know North ain't gonna like that, but whatever. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Oh, should we choose a different sign this time? I like the piece. I like the piece. I thought it was good. So I'm gonna stick with it. We want peace. We want peace. Have a good night. Good weekend, everybody. See, I'm not back until until Monday. So. Pass it this route. Pass it the this screens, route. Marcus. Positive message, will that be pacifist? Yes, it went up as pacifist. Nice, 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 nice. Pacifist, 100% pacifist, baby. We got it last time, we'll get it again. But this time in the good timeline. Oh, Venom, hello! Hey, hey, hey. It's nice you can go back and change all this. Yeah, it is cool. It is cool. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. Maybe just a little violence? No, no violence, no violence. Car. 
move on the road. I'll help you. I get my lefts and my rights a little confused sometimes. See, we're doing a little ring around with the cars. I'm gonna be saying ring. I'm just gonna say it a lot. Marcus, violence is the only language humans understand. No. And I want them to understand, but I do not want to start the They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. That's okay, whatever. Oh, it's great, it's great. And it's true, it's true, but the, you, but may I remind you who this Oh, this is a game. This is so a dear game. IRL, I don't know if this would be the most effective way to do it. But God, do I just want friends. <laughs> What else? What else do we need to do? Transform. Okay, we need to do more. What else needs to be done? All oh, right, we have to climb. I like North Spire. It is cool. It is cool. It is. Excited we got that new dialogue. I'm really excited. Okay, people, I did no spoilers, but backseating is allowed if y'all know what I'm trying to do, you know what I mean? But without spoiling it. Oh god. We did good, everybody. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Okay. Oh god, yeah, people are gonna die. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Come on, go, 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 run, run, run. Oh, but then that's where they got We shot. sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Come on, North, there's a way to do it. In the game. Regardless, I imagine these people die. North. All right, what happened? North. They killed them. Oh. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? They 
killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. No, kid. No, kid. You don't have to do this. Don't decide. What happens if I do don't decide? Maybe North comes in and shoots them. We won't find out right now though. Eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. I think that's my guess. I think, I think, I think North would have been like, I'll do it. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti Supported. was found in the nice. neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? No one will mention your mercy. Yeah, that's true. Leaky? Leaky, what's up? Thank you so much for the sub. That's really sweet. I appreciate it. Those are kind of joy your emotes, no ads, and we continue on. Why don't we? Nice. If I continue, I shouldn't be dead. I didn't die. Hank is my friend. Yeah, okay, so I think this is good now. Cheese. That's very sweet, Cheese. That money will go towards getting a deep dish pizza on Monday. <laughs> Cheese, that's very sweet of you. Thank you for the thousand bits. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No, I literally have to. I literally, I said it was a sub, it was a, it was a goal for the charity stream. I have to buy deep dish. You just funded that. But it's to prove a point. It's to prove a point that it's not going to be as good as, you know. As the real pizza, and you know what that I, she's. I know, I know. I know it's upsetting, but we must do it. It's so mid, yeah. I have not. I have not. I need to do that. I have to look again. I think, um. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Is it in the sticker channel? Hubris, the one that Chris you made? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. new so no way justin you are also streaming detroit no way justin justin what the fuck is up everyone go follow justin justin has a dog and a good dog actually so good heck yeah shim you enjoy so we did this yesterday. Yeah, we started it like a few days ago, though. We're doing an, a newer. We we're redoing chapters because I wanted to. I want to get the good run. Good night, love. What's up, Justin? You doing also Detroit? You saw you doing Detroit. You went. I want to play Detroit. It was a good time. What's up, Justin? What's up, Raiders? He's cute, but he cried a lot. Heck yeah, he's in tune with his emotions. That's rad. 
He's cute and cried a lot. It's a package deal. I hope you had fun. Was that your first time playing it, Justin? Um, we're gonna go talk to a little Frico right now. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, Justin. Wait! Oh! I don't remember what I did last time. Oh, no, 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 no. What should I do? Instinct, lead, or com Kamsky? Instinct? What are these options? Yeah, have a good one, Justin. I appreciate the raid. Yeah, we played four. Okay, yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. No spoilers. Don't know if you did it the first time, but mayhaps keep your eyes open in the waiting room. Okay. Like, just look around more. Okay. Kamsky's the name of this person. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to oh, pass I the chose Turing this test. Option last time. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Like, just look around a lot? Is that what you mean, Ari? Ari, thank you for being a guide. I appreciate it. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. I looked, I felt like I looked quite a bit, but I guess I didn't look enough. Okay. We search more, we search more. That's our friend. What did I not look at last time? I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. The shader? Yes, I remember the shader. What is this? Analyst? Oh. Oh! <laughs> That's Amanda. Amanda and Kamsky are, are they married? Are they friends? Professor, a professor at University of Coolbridge, a graduate. Okay, Amanda was Kamsky's professor. Oh, yeah, I totally missed this last time. And I didn't, I didn't even read this thing. Space tourism on the rise. Luxury holiday makers turn to the stars. Zero gravity subway to connect New York City and DC in 45 minutes. Wow, thank you, Ari. With the advent of reusable space shuttles, space tourism is becoming a reality for those able to afford it. Luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three hour orbit of the moon, affording spectacular views of Earth through a, spe a specially designed observation deck. As competition increases in this growing market, consumers can expect such trips to become more and more affordable. But consumer rights activists are already decrying, decreeing such boutique experiences as a sign of a widening social equality gap. Spokesman for Aid on Poverty said, while the top 1% are enjoying Earth from space, the rest of us are down here suffering from pollution, famine, and poverty. Clear Skies was not available for comment, but the new slogan for their spacefaring holidays sound looks increasingly apt get away from it all cyberlife's fortune teller computer cyberlife develops world's most powerful quantum calculator hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scheme cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops exaflops 1 billion billion operations per second holy shit the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data. <gasps> that must mean the supercomputer is RA9. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, CyberLife's director of Futurology, is highly confident, quote, we've been testing for a while and the results are going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of max, mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions or global climate disasters like meteors and super viruses. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if 
It seems like they have a picture still on their wall. Are Amanda and Elijah still like in good term on good terms? Because if they're on good terms, then they're working together. And they they seem to like androids, which means that they want the androids to hold on. Brain blast happening. They want the androids to take over the city of Detroit, thus lowering humans because that's the classic thing of like yeah the the classic stones marvel guy because humans are destroying the earth and the androids are going to take over and make the world better to lower pollution because they also listen to ra9 because ra9 is trying to calculate the probability of max extinction events which is humans continuing to populate and destroy the earth that's a thought The computer can then help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. So they've predicted something, so they said this is the way they has to be. Despite doomsday predictions from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. Cool. Interesting thought. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. I saw this stuff already. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're bad. Sorry, I'm analyzing. We'll see, we'll see what's up right. Okay. Hi Rava, hello. And just a reminder folks, no spoilers. Don't spoil anything. To meet I still don't know a lot Connor. of stuff about this. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Okay. I guess, can I talk to you still? I guess I can sit down now. standing. Hold on. I am trying to sit. Hello. Elijah, we'll see you now. Oh, okay. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Is everyone an android? <laughs> Hank, are you an android? Can I talk to these? Hello. No? Okay. No friends, I suppose. Kamsky can't be an android. Because he made androids. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. But Amanda's still in Cyberlife. Deviants. So maybe they didn't get along. Something happened. Fascinating, aren't they? Why is that? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. The machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic?
We need to understand how androids become deviants. That's what I said last time, damn it. Do you know anything that could help us? I keep picking the same thing. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Neutral, defensive, direct. Defensive. It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent. I hate this part, isn't uh... it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. No shoot. I don't shoot because Chloe's my friend. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Nope. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh. Uh, wait. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? To continue and get the best timeline. What do I do here? I, it seems like if to for Hank to like us more, we then surrender. I feel like shooting them, I don't think is going to give us that much more information. I think we might learn more about like Amanda and stuff, maybe, if we decide to shoot. But I don't really want to do that. I knew the person who made androids was an incel libertarian. <laughs> yeah. There it is. He just has a gun in there in his pool room? Yeah, yeah. I leave for hours, come back, and Connor has an android at gunpoint? Yeah, what's new? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Thank you, Nick. Okay, I shall spare then. Your investigation or the life of this man? He doesn't tell you much? Okay. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I almost hit shoot. Oh my god. Don't shoot. I almost... I accidentally <laughs> almost pressed... <laughs> Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? 
Let's get out of here. What if? What if? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. The button, I can't believe I messed that part up. I'm so upset that I didn't find the, the blue. But I know that when I see the Why light turn right. Why didn't you shoot? Because I have. I just saw that girl's eyes. And I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yeah, I love you too, Hugh. Love you too, buddy. Papa Hank. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> this is, this is when we see, this is what I was waiting for. This is what I've been waiting for. Y'all ready for this next part? The protest. It's gonna be very different. It's gonna be very different. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. And we get a new North dialogue. This one's gonna be so different. This is basically just playing a new scene. I already got this one. Walk to edge, is there another option for us? I'm a little nervous. Oh? I didn't even do this last time. No way. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. Oh. <gasps> it's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. There we go. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. Wait, no, I've had that before. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. 
They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. Hmm. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. Tell me. Tell me. What about you? Please. You didn't tell me this last time. You never time. told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Come on. Come on. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> Maiden, listen no longer. <laughs> dead in his studio. We're I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. It's not too late to change your mind. Wait a minute. So she said that she strangled someone at Eden. Does that mean that she was one of the androids who was in love with one of the other androids? Or was there another moment of strangulation at the Eden Club? Because no, that wasn't any of them. No. It just happened again. Okay, it was just like another... It's the first thing they have. I see, I see. If you listen closely in the Eden Club, the manager even mentioned that a robot fled there before, like two months ago. Oh, cool. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the up. Fuck. Z's. <laughs> Awesome type of awesome. You don't understand. <laughs> We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. I miss Simon. Simon would have been here. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Hello. Be my friend? Be my lover? You're free. Free? I have more lovers, please. I'm smiling. I'm so happy. Oh, I bet you are.
You're free. I like their faces just like. Oh. Wow. So you can start my fucking Android all night. Androids are things. Come with us. I'm very excited for this scene. I'm so excited. This is how I wanted it to go. You're awake now. I'm so excited. It's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose something. Yes, yes, yes. Be my friend. You are free. I'm so excited to see this. I'm so excited. Free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. <laughs> I need to block the street. And you, and you are free, and you are my friend. F is for friends. R is for really good friends. E is for. You're my friend, and the other E is for Hey, yo, you're me. Hello, you're my friend. Even if you're from the UK, I'll be your friend. Open manhole cover. B is for banana. What's this banana business? Why is the, why are you saying banana stuff? Did I miss something? What's with the banana lore? Banana? Banana? What's the banana? Banana? What do you mean? But what about it? You're free now. You're my friend now. You just have to know? Can't you just tell me? <laughs> what? what? Here we go. Hey, Banana you time. <laughs> You're right now. This is how it was supposed to go. More friends. More friends, please. More friends. More friends, please. All the friends. Come on, everybody. Come on. Look at us all friends together. Oh, 
like that. We're just gonna keep it till we are alive. Yay, look at that! One poor human is super into it. demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings all we want is to live free this is an illegal gathering disperse immediately or we will open fire we're not looking for confrontation we've done no harm we have no intention of doing any but know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom I repeat this is an illegal gathering if you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. And Simon would say the other thing. This is your we last run. chance. Disperse immediately. I wonder if it gives or us that option. Will even give us the option to disperse? Stand our ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Josh is my friend too. Everyone's my friend. You're, you're my lover. Come on. Disperse! This is your last chance! Keep standing We have to make ground. a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. I love your fire, but we have to stand our ground. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all. Sacrifice? What happens? Does the same thing happen? I die again? Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. <laughs>